Well, good morning and welcome to the Pay What You Can yoga live stream or the replay if you're checking out later. My name is Lexi and uh, today we have a bit of a fun class. I have some new movements. I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing with them, so it'll be a little fun. We might mix up legs, we might giggle, totally fine. We'll move, we'll groove, we'll have a good time. So as always, these uh, live stream or recorded classes are pay what you can if you so choose to. Donations and contributions are greatly appreciated, but they are not mandatory whatsoever. If you would like to contribute, check out the live chat for uh, details of where to virtually contribute or down below in the actual description. You also find here and here a playlist for day today for, to da, 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 for today's class. Uh, but feel free to listen to whatever music uh, floats your boat. Liability, because we want to be safe and we want to have a good time. So really listen to your body as we move today. If something feels good, awesome, go with it. Explore, play. If it doesn't, come on out. Take child's pose. Take a break. Have water breaks. There's no pressure to do everything how I do it. And you'll notice I modify myself all the time. So just be very safe. Listen to your body. If it doesn't feel good, time to take a pause. So we've been talking about the yamas this month. The first one was ahimsa, which was non, um, non-violence, non-harming. Then we moved on to sat- satya, satya for truthfulness. And now today we're talking about asteya, which is non-stealing. And just like the other two, this one is so much more than the concept of physically stealing something from someone else. It's much deeper. It goes into the concepts of stealing time, of stealing energy, of stealing space. It's not just these physical items that you might think of. Put my little sheet here. So desire or want is the cause for stealing. So we discover more about this yama. It, as we discover more about this yama, it may be more helpful to look at why we might consider stealing in the first place rather than reframing from stealing itself. The need to steal essentially rises from the lack of faith we have in ourselves to create what we need by ourselves. This moment we feel lack in our life, desire, want, and greed arises. We begin to look for something that will fulfill that empty sensation. And as often as though everyone, and often we feel as though everyone else has something that we want. So how do we avoid this concept of stealing? Well, the book. I finally have my book out. Um, So when we engage in joy, in the joy and challenge of building ourselves up, of creating that reality, that thing that we want by ourselves, we automatically serve the world or others rather than steal from it. So it really begins with building the competence that you have the ability to have build up what you want, whether it is a physical item, whether it's time, whether it's energy, whether it's space, and then taking the time to have gratitude for what you do have in your life already and know that that is as valuable to you or more. it is more so valuable to you than what someone else may appear to have. Yes, so stealing isn't just I'm going to take this item, I'm going to take this time. Um, It's, hello, about really observing what you have, knowing that you can get what you want by yourself without taking from others and just having the gratitude for the things that are in your life. The other note, just like Ahimsa and Satya, uh, you not only steal from others, you can steal from yourself. That's the biggest thing I'm guilty of. I'm very good at stealing my own energy, my time. So know that you can steal from yourself in this way and do your best to build this confidence up and not steal. Of course, this is something that takes a lot of practice to me. This is one of the yamas I struggle the most with, but you know, it's fine. It's a journey and we just got to work on it and we will. Yes. So we are going to get started. Uh, If you have the music you would like to listen to, go ahead and link it up and we will meet standing at the top of our mat. I was going to face that way. I guess I'll face this way now. So uh, there's some planks and things this morning. So I actually want us to start by just warming up our wrist, which I'm going to stand closer for, actually. I don't need to stand yet. So you can go ahead and interlace the fingers and just do some little rolls here. Don't really worry about the breath yet. We'll link that up in a moment. 
go ahead and go in the opposite direction. Good. You can keep the fingers interlaced and you want to press them down towards the floor. There you go. Keeping them pressed down, go ahead and press those palms away for you as you bring the arms up and overhead. Similar to Tadasana pose, where you begin to engage the body. Don't like round into the spine here. Keep yourself nice and strong and stacked. Go ahead, lower the arms down. You can release that interlace. From here, holding the arms out in front of you, make fist with your hands and just rotate the wrist out. And go the other way. Good. Last time, let's interlace those palms or those fingers and bring our arms up and overhead, palms are up towards the ceiling. Inhale here, nice tall spine. Exhale, take a lateral stretch towards the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Good. Center. Take it into a tiny sit back bend. So lift the chest with the crown of the head. Stay strong in the body. Exhale, neutral spine. Inhale, tall again one more time. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Come to center. Tiny back bend. Lift the chest. And then exhale. Bring the hands to heart center. Stand into Dasana nice and strong. You can flutter the eyes closed. Inhale here. And exhale, bow forehead to fingers. Feeling the stretch all in the neck, a little bit in the shoulders. Begin coming into your breath. Nice deep inhale to count of three, maybe four. Exhale out, you count of three, or four. And as you're breathing here, maybe you want to set an intention today, a focus on a stay up. To find gratitude in all the things that you have. And to know that you have the ability to work hard and achieve the things that you want without stealing. Most importantly, you will no longer steal from yourself or others. Good, take three more deep breaths. That last one. Nice, as you inhale, bring the neck back to neutral. Exhale, arms go to the sides, slowly flutter the eyes back open, and we'll get ready to move. Starting off with chair pose today, you have the option, check in with your body, you can keep the feet kind of glued together, the heels slightly apart, or wiggle those feet out to be about hips distance. Good. We're going to inhale here, just stand up nice and tall, and then exhale, sit on back, sink in the chair pose. With chair pose, remember to keep the tailbone on top, spine engaged, nice flat back, arms are out. You don't have to sit super low this morning. We'll be doing this a few times. So start off easy, love yourself here. Uh, take two more deep breaths. One more inhale, because I lied, and one more exhale. I need to pay more attention to Satya. Yeah. So here we are in chair pose. As we inhale now, let's lift up onto our toes. 
And then exhale, we're gonna really bend it to the knees, coming all the way down. You can use the fingers as a kickstand for toe stand here. Yeah. Good. Inhale, now press into those legs nice and strong. Rise up, chair pose on the tippy toes. And then exhale, shift the weight back into the heels. Bring your little chair. As you inhale, rise all the way up. Nice and tall, pull the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, bring those arms down to Dasana. Good, let's do that again. So inhale, go ahead, sit on down, chair pose. Stay here as you exhale. Make sure you can see those toes past the knees. Use your next inhale, shift the weight into the balls of your feet. And exhale, very slowly, lower yourself down with your full breath. Inhale, let's rise all the way back up, nice and strong. Exhale, take back to your pose, weight in the heels. Inhale, stand all the way up, nice and tall, engage everything up to the fingers. Exhale, to Tadasana. Good, one more time. Inhale, shift the arms up, don't sit back yet. Now use the exhale, sit on down chair pose. Inhale, come up on those tippy toes. Exhale, lower down, nice and slow and controlled. You've got this. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, take it back to the heels. Inhale, stand all the way up, nice and tall. Exhale, Tadasana. Beautiful. Let's inhale, sweep the palms all the way up, look up. Exhale, we're gonna meet chair pose again, sit on down. Again, remember to adjust. This is one of those poses that I just don't hit right away. I always have to kind of place my hands to remind myself where to go. Totally fine. Bring the hands to heart center now. As you inhale, let's come up on those right toes. And then step them on back for a high lunge. For this first high lunge, you don't need to have your widest stance or the leg completely straight. You can take a gentle bend. It'll help out with the back a bit more. You'll really get this stretch in your right hip flexor. So stay here nice and strong, one inhale. And use the exhale, lower that right knee down, setting yourself up for the lunge. And for this first one, maybe you take it a little bit simpler, doing a 90-90, you don't have to go super deep, but just make sure that that left knee is not past the left ankle. Good. Inhale, let's scoop the palms on up, look up. And exhale, stay here nice and strong. Toes can be tucked or untucked on that back foot. Again, don't really dip into the back here. Try and stay nice, all stacked, comfy spine. And one more inhale. And then use the exhale. You're gonna float your hands down to the inside of that left foot. We're not actually taking lizard pose this round. But instead, we're going to come into a gate pose and kind of a funky one. So go ahead and take that right ankle, and you're going to move it towards the left side, so right behind your right knee. Go ahead and begin to walk your hands past that right knee. You can extend that left leg to be parallel with the top edge of your mat as you plant the right hand to the outside of the right knee. Use the next inhale, peel that left arm up to the sky, maybe like you're doing a bow and arrow. Exhale, stay here. Nice and strong. Good. Right, take one more deep breath. Try your best to breathe in the nose and out the nose. Nice. Very slowly, let's lower that left hand back down to the mat. And then walk the hands back past the right knee as you begin to come towards the top of the mat. And spin that right ankle back behind you, bend it to the left knee, return to a nice little lunge. Fingertips plant to frame that left leg. Keep the fingertips right where they are, just inhale, lift the chest, and crown the head. Exhale here. Good. Inhale, let's tuck the back toes, let that right knee off, off, off the mat. And then exhale, step those left toes back to meet the right. Nice high plank. Maybe really round here. So you can bring the, the shoulders past the wrist. 
Really kind of open up the back, and then exhale yourself back to a plank pose. If you like knees, chest, chin, or take chaturanga, use the exhale, lower yourself down. Inhale through upward facing dog or cobra. And then exhale, take it back down with facing dog. Good. Take two deep breaths. Know that you can have a gentle bend in the knees. The heels do not have to touch the mat. Beautiful. Bring that gaze forward. Bend the knees. Use your next exhale to make your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. We really lengthen the spine, kind of the head forward, tailbone back and groove. Exhale, fold yourself down. As you inhale, we're going to rise up through chair pose. So have the bend in the knees. Exhale, come all the way up to Tadasana. Good. We do the other side. So I'm just switching my position on the mat. Inhale, sweep the palms up, look up. Exhale, bend the knees, chair pose. Stay here, nice and strong. Nice, bring the hands to heart center. As you inhale, come up on those left toes now. And exhale, step them on that high lunge. Again, know that you can kind of modify and take it simple the first time on this side. And know the next time that we kind of add on, you can take it a little bit deeper. Then one more breath here. Use the exhale, lower that left knee down to the mat. Line yourself up for what feels like your best and first low lunge of the day. And as you're ready, your next inhale, sweep those palms up. Pardon the crashing outside of the room. <laughs> Maybe turn up your music a little bit louder. Good, one more inhale. Exhale, bring those hands to the inside of the right foot like we're doing lizard, but we're not. Coming into that gate pose, take that left ankle and move it towards the right side so the ankle is now in line with the knee. Begin to walk your hands towards your left knee. Once you reach the left knee, extend those right toes to be parallel with to the top edge of the mat and then walk your left hand to be to the outside of the left knee. Take your right arm and act like it's a bow and arrow as you pull it up all the way to the seat. And breathe here. And one more deep breath. Slowly go ahead and lower that right arm back down to the mat. And let's make our way back to the low lunge. So walking your hands past your left knee again, you can turn that out. As you pivot your toes, right ones towards the top of the mat, bending into the knee. Okay, plant the hands to frame the foot. And as you inhale, just lift the chest here in this low lunge. Beautiful. Keep the fingertips planted, tuck the back toes. Inhale, lift that back leg up off the mat, support it across the lunge. Exhale, set the right foot back to meet the left. And maybe while you're here, you're going to pull. So inhale, shift forward. Exhale, come back. So nice, slow and control. Inhale forward. Exhale back. One more time. Beautiful. Stack it up and then knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Use the exhale. Go ahead. Inhale through your cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, we meet downward facing the dog. Beautiful. Two deep breaths. Maybe you're walking the dog here. You don't need perfect stillness today. Take movement. Take what feels good. Don't steal from yourself. Do exactly what you need. Build the practice that you want today. Good. Inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Exhale, make your way towards the top of the mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, bend into the knees, chair pose. Exhale, Tadasana. Nice. So now that we have the idea of the movement and what's going on, we're going to keep going, but add on to it a little bit. So inhale, let's sweep those palms up, look up. Exhale, we meet chair pose. 
Good. Stay here for two deep breaths. Nice. Let's bring the hands to heart center. Come in with a twist before we get into our high lunge. So inhale here, nice and strong. Sit a little bit lower. Exhale, take right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Good. Come up as you inhale on those right toes. Nice and strong. Step it back. High lunge. You're twisting. This is a challenge on twist. Step back and then take the twist again. You're doing great. Hold for one more deep breath. You've got this. And now exhale, lower that right knee down to the mat. Untwist yourself. Inhale, sweep those palms up to the sky. Exhale, arms go wide and release behind your back. For this low lunge, you can take it a little bit deeper now if you haven't already. Use the next inhale, send the fingertips towards the floor, lift the chest, look up. Good, stay for two. Last deep breath. Two inhale, sweep the palms up. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Inside the left foot, let's actually take a lizard now. So wiggle those left toes over towards the left side of the mat. Before settling in, we're just gonna move with our breath kind of through a funky lizard half split. So as you inhale, we're in lizard pose, knees stacked over ankle. Exhale, just send the hips back. Begin to straighten that front leg. So like we're doing a half split in the lunge, but just wider. Inhale, come back to your lizard. And then exhale, take it back, this funky half split. And know that this front leg does not have to get completely straight. We're just checking out the mobility and seeing how it feels. This feels really funky. You can always have blocks to keep yourself up a little bit higher, or you can even just come back to center and do it at a low lunge. And then I'll just cue you to get back into lizard pose before we move on. So do this three more times. I'm on my last one. Beautiful. Inhale, come back to your lizard pose. And exhale, just hold here for a moment. Make this just a nice stretch. Good, take one more deep breath. Awesome. So still keeping the hands to the inside of that left leg. We're just gonna wiggle the left leg a little bit back to center. So like it's the low lunge we did earlier with the hands to the inside, because we're coming back to our gate pose. So starting with that right ankle, let's move it to the left side and line with the right knee. And then begin to walk your hands towards the knee. Extend the left leg towards the top of the mat, parallel. And bring that right hand to the outside of the right knee. As you inhale, go ahead and pull that arrow up as the left arm comes up to the sky. Exhale, stay here. If you want to add on here, you have two options. You can either work with inhale, lifting that back leg, and exhale, tapping it down, nice, slow, and control as you breathe. Your other option, if you're inhale, lift it, hold. Or your third option, you can take a bind, so bending in to the knee and then reaching that left arm for the left ankle. Yeah, so we're going to play explore. If you are holding or tapping, keep the knees either up at the fingertips or down at the fingertips. And for those bonding, go ahead and look down towards the fingertips. Let's take three more breaths here. Last full breath, nice and slow. Awesome, very slowly, binders, go ahead and release. Uh, if you're tapping or lift up, we'll all be lifted just as we inhale here. And then exhale, lower that leg back down to the mat. Beautiful. Take that left hand, bring it down towards the mat. Let's make our way back to our little lunge. Walk the hands past the right knee. Spin that right knee so the ankle is back towards the back edge of the mat. Front toes point towards the top. Bend on in. Right. From here with our low lunge, keep those hands planted. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the crown nice and strong. 
Exhale, rain here. Good, let's inhale, take it up, little lunge. Exhale, flex the palms, press away. Pressing into the mat, inhale, lift that back leg up. Exhale, send the left foot back to match the right. Good, from here, let's just shift our weight over towards the left side. You can drop that left knee down if you want to take a supported side lunge. And keep the hips stacked. Inhale, peel that right shoulder up to the sky, nice and strong. Keep the hips lifted, two breaths. Gazing up, one more. Nice. Very slowly lower the right hand back down, return to high plank. Inhale here. Exhale, knee stretch chin. Which you got on that. Inhale through up dog or cobra. Exhale, take back down. We're facing the two deep breaths. Do one great. Perfect. As you inhale, look up at the knees. And then exhale, jump up, step your way, forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, nice flat back. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, we come up through chair pose. Exhale, Tadasana. Nice. Again, a sip of water, and then we're going to finish off the other side. Awesome. So standing at the top of the mat, really feel the engagement, Tadasana. Root in the feet, work everything up, feel nice and strong, powerful, fingertips spread wide. Great. Inhale, sweep those palms up, look up. Exhale, meet chair pose. Stay here for two. Great, right, hands from the heart center. We're gonna work our way through that twist and to our crescent lunge twist. So let's start twisting here. Inhale here, maybe sit a little bit lower. Exhale, left elbow outside of right knee. In this chair twist, look down at your knees if you notice that, in this case, the left knee is pulling past the right. Go ahead, bring that left hip going back on in. Maybe that lessens the, your twist, but you'd rather have your knees in line than be in a super crazy deep twist. Good, stay here, one more deep breath. Nice, let's come up onto our left toes or untwist yourself if need be. Step yourself back to your high lunge and come back into the twist if you want to twist it. Stay here for two. You're doing great, one more deep inhale. Use the exhale, lower down the lunge. Untwist yourself. Inhale, sweep those palms up to the sky. And this time as you exhale, let's open the elbows wide, cactus arms. Breathing through this. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, cactus. Three more times. Nice. One more. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bring them to the inside of that right foot and come to your lizard pose. So wiggle that right foot over to the outside of the right side of the mat. Just like before, before we settle into the lizard, let's take some movement. So inhale in your lizard pose. And then exhale, shift the hips back, work on straightening that front right leg. Good, inhale, come forward. Exhale, take it back. No, just doing it in a low lunge option right now is totally fine too. If your hips are just like, what is this? This feels strange. <laughs> Listen to yourself. Do no harm. Practice seconds as we go through here. Bring Satya in here as well. Be honest with yourself about what you're capable doing in your practice today. Good, let's do one more. Nice. So we inhale, we come back to our lizard pose. And we exhale, stay here for just a few deep breaths. 
If you'd like, maybe drop onto the forearms in this variation. Maybe lay all the way down. Maybe you're just planted here with me, and that's fine too. Bring your attention and your awareness back to your breath. Good. One more deep breath together. Exhale, let go. Nice. Go ahead and wiggle walk that right ankle to be a bit more in the center with a little lunge, but keep both hands to the inside of the right foot. Coming to gate pose. Last time, let's bring that left ankle towards the right side and walk your hands towards that left knee. Extend the right leg so it's parallel with the top edge of the mat, and then plant the left hand to the outside of the left leg. Go ahead, be the bow and arrow warrior. Pull it all the way up. Exhale, stay here. And it's up to you for this left side. You can mimic exactly what you did before, staying here, lifting and tapping, lifting and holding, or the gate pose. I know I say to practice being symmetrical and balanced, but maybe you just want something a little bit different on this side, and that is totally okay. You have about five deep breaths for some exploration, so I'm switching it up. Good. Two more. Thanks. Last one. Beautiful. Very slowly now. If you're binded, go ahead and at least keep the leg lifted. Tappers, lift it. Inhale here all together. Exhale, nice. Slow more down. Very slowly lower that right hand down to the mat. And then bring that left ankle in. Step it back to a high plank. And now we take our plank to the opposite side, which I'm mixing on my side, so I'm pretty sure we're dipping our hips towards the right, you know? If I'm wrong, take it to the other way. It's all right. Keep the hips nice and lifted, or you can drop that knee down if need be. Take a supported variation, or fall over and then get back up. It's fine. <laughs> take two deep breaths here. You can do it. I'll do it with you. Ready? Beautiful. One more. Nice. Lower that left hand down. Take your high plank. Inhale here. Exhale. Knee chest, chin, and chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, take it back. Downward facing dog. Take two full deep breaths here. We really fill the belly up. And exhale, empty it out. Nice. One more. Exhale, let it go. Beautiful. As you inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Exhale, make your way top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, we rise up. We need chair pose last time for now. And then exhale, it's an asana. And another sip of water. It's hot in here today, right? The reason why I haven't done that for now is because we're coming back right in chair pose. So, woohoo! <laughs> we're going to take a figure four variation here. So, setting yourself up. This time, I do recommend keeping your feet hips distance. Inhale here, let's sweep those palms up. Exhale, sit on down. Good. Hands come to heart center again. Remember, do your little adjustments that you need to. As you inhale here, now let's come up on our right tippy toes. Exhale, bring that right ankle on top of the shelf of the left knee. If you need something to help you balance, that's totally okay. No worries at all. But just find where you're at. Inhale. And then exhale, try and sit just a little bit lower. You've got this. Take two more deep breaths. Find a spot on the floor, the wall, where nothing's moving. Use that as your focal point. Last breath. Great. As you inhale, lift them up, and then step that right foot all the way back straight to your high lunge. Send inhale, sweep the palms all the way up. 
And exhale, float them down to the mat. Bring the foot. Set those left toes back to meet the right. Inhale here. Exhale, drop down, chaturanga, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, take it to downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale, lift that right leg high to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. And then drop that right knee by the right wrist. Untuck the back left toes, extend them long. We're coming into pigeon pose. So with the right ankle, depending on how open your hips are, you do want to work to wiggle it out, but you still want to keep the hips nice and square. This feels really intense for you. You can just come onto your back, take the right ankle on top of the left knee, and take a recline figure four. Those that want to do recline pigeon with me, or on the floor here. If you need a block, you can place it underneath the right hip, just to help you stay a little bit more square. But all together, let's press into the hands. Inhale, lift the chest and crown. Next up, we're going to very slowly roll ourselves down. Inhale, we're rolling right back up. We're not settling in just yet. Exhale, melt it down. Good. Last time, inhale, come up. Exhale, take it down. And this time, come all the way down to the forearms, laying all the way out. Whatever feels best for you. Connect with your breath and breathe. You know that if it ever gets too much, feel free to come out, modify, child's pose, recline figure four, listen to your body here, cause no harm, be honest, and don't steal from yourself for what this practice can be. Good. Stay here. Three more full deep breaths. Awesome. If you're all the way out or have a pillow, use the next inhale. Slowly begin to make your way back on up. Plant the hands to frame the knee. Inhale, just lift the chest, crown of the head, tiny to the back bends. Exhale, to a neutral spine. Making our way back. Tuck your back toes, lift the back knee up off the mat. Slide that right leg back to match the left. And go right into downward facing dog. Go ahead and pedal up the feet just for a little bit. Then use your next inhale, lift that right leg to the sky. Exhale, bend up the knee, take the hip stretch. So bring that right ankle over towards the left side. Keep the shoulders square to the mat. And maybe do some circles with the right angle in one direction. And then the other. Awesome. Inhale, bring that right leg back up. Three leg down, lower facing dog. Exhale, lower down, down dog. Good. Working the left side in reverse order. Let's inhale, lift that left leg up. Exhale, bring knee to nose. And then lower that left knee towards the left wrist. Untop those back right toes, extend that leg long. And again, just square yourself up here. Notice how different your sides are. You know that that's fine. Don't worry about them being perfectly symmetrical. Don't beat yourself up if you need recline figure four on one side instead of the other. It's totally all right. So getting yourself squared up and where you want to be. Plant the hands, let's inhale, lift the chest and the front. Exhale, we're rolling down for three. Inhale up. Exhale, two. Good, one more. Use that exhale, come all the way down. Set yourself up. Connect with the breath. Settle in.
Now I could stay here forever, but I know a lot of people don't like that. So let's stay just for three more deep breaths. If you're one of the people that's just like, it's not my faith. I get it, but use the breath. We're going to settle into the discomfort. Awesome. One more full deep breath. Go ahead. Let it all out. Let's take a sigh. If you're all the way out or using some sort of arm pillow contraption, inhale, bring yourself back up. Plant hands. Let the chest come ahead. Exhale, nice neutral spine. Great. Plant the hands here strongly, tuck the back toes, lift that back knee up off the mat. Press, hover the left knee, step it back, high plank, and then take down and face the dog. Unless you're really feeling a vinyasa, go ahead and chest chin chaturanga. Be in our down dog for about three breaths so you have some time to move. That's what you want to do. Uh, last time. Awesome. Finishing up the left side. Let's inhale, lift that left leg up. Exhale, bend the knee. Bring that left ankle to the right side. Keep the shoulders nice and square. Do some circles with the left ankle. Great. Inhale, three hundred down dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Coming back up now to finish that figure four. <sighs> On the left side, let's inhale the left, the right leg up, I'm sorry. Exhale, go ahead and step it in between the palms. We're going to inhale, stay nice and strong, rise up, high lunge. Whoop. Exhale, remain here. Nice and strong, make this your best last high lunge. Beautiful. So as we inhale, now we're going to shift our weight forward and exhale, just step the chair pose briefly here. Inhale, hands to heart center, come up on those left toes. Exhale, lift it up, take that left ankle on top of the right knee. Go ahead and find your little balance buddy if it's needed. Find that non-moving spot on the floor or the wall. Try and sink a little bit deeper. Three breaths. Very last one. Exhale, slowly release that left leg. Sit down, share pose. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, to box. Awesome. Inhale, sweep the palms up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Come all the way down. Take a nice little forward fold here. Bend the knees, chest and come to the thighs. Maybe you bring those feet a little bit wider, taking it into a rag doll. Whatever feels best for you. All right. If you're in the right belt, we will walk those feet back together. Use an inhale, begin to roll yourself up to standing. Arms come wide to the sides. Exhale. One last bit of leg chair work because why not? It's been the whole theme today. Let's keep it going, finishing off strong. We're going to take it to equal pose. So just challenge our balance a little bit more and pull up on our hands a little bit more. So rooting yourself, let's inhale, sweep the palms up. Exhale, go ahead, sit back. We're going to start with the right leg. So keep the left leg nice and rooted into the mat. You bring the hands to heart center just to start. Inhale, let's come up on those right toes. Exhale, cross right leg over left. For this, you can use the right toes as a kickstand if it feels good, or if you're really feeling the wrap around the left ankle, go ahead and wrap. Awesome. We're going to take that left arm out right in front of us and bend into the left elbow. The right arm is going to sink underneath, so the back of the hands touch, or if you're feeling the wrap, wrap around for the palms to touch. Inhale here. Exhale, maybe sit a little bit lower. Hold. We have three breaths. You've got this. If you come to the kickstand, no worries. 
Got it, two more. Last inhale. Last exhale. Good, inhale, rise all the way up. Keep the arms up. Exhale, release them, let them fly. Lower the arms back down to the legs. Great, let's do the opposite side. So inhale, sweep those palms up. Exhale, sit on down, chair pose. Hands can come to heart center. We're rooting into the right leg here. Inhale, come up on those left toes. Exhale, left leg crosses over right. Kickstand is fine, hovering is fine, breath is also far. Taking that right arm out in front of you, bend at the elbow. Left arm stays underneath, back of hands meet, or you wrap. Three deep breaths, you've got this, inhale. Exhale, maybe take just a little bit lower. Last full breath. Beautiful, inhale, across the legs, rise up, lift the arms. Exhale, release the arms. Lower down. Fantastic. So we're going to come down on the mat, just like we've been doing this whole time. Do a chair pose. <laughs> Inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale, sit back, knee chair. This is the last time we tell chair goodbye from here. Inhale, let's lift up onto our toes. Exhale, sink all the way down. Plant the hands. From here, very slowly, just shift yourself back to sit. You can cross the legs here for easy seat. Take half lotus or full lotus if it feels good. Up to you. We did a lot with the legs. Maybe massage them out a little bit, show them some love. Actually, forget easy seat or lotus. Forget there. But first, let's take a wide legged fold. So take the legs out wide. Before we fold, show them some love. Give them a little bit of massage. The front, the back. Find that gratitude for your body today and all that it has done for this practice and for you. And don't worry about like knowing what to massage or rub out. Just do what feels best for you. Awesome. So the feet flexed up towards the ceiling. We'll inhale, lift the chest, lift the crown of the head. Exhale, you can just walk those fingers on out and begin to fold down. Remember, like with all folds, we want a nice flat back and we don't want to round because then we're not getting the stretch in the right area. So if you're up here with me, totally fine. Now you can also use the block to bring the floor closer to your arms. Let's stay here, come back to your breath. Keep those toes pointed up. Good. Take three more deep breaths. Nice. Very last one. Inhale, walk yourself back up. Exhale here. Just a little bit of lateral stretching to finish up. In this white leg, because it feels good, so why not? Let's bring the left hand to the inside of the left leg. Inhale that right arm straight up. Exhale, bring the right arm overhead towards the left toes. Maybe you find that that left arm, forearm can come down. If not, take a block. If you want to make this a little bit more intense, take that left arm underneath the right thigh. Good. Stay here. Three breaths. Last one. Good. Inhale, come all the way up. You can take that thigh, arm away from the thigh. <laughs> Exhale, hands, heart center. We'll switch sides. Bring that right hand to the inside of the right leg. Left arm shoots straight up. Exhale, left arm overhead. Right arm comes down. Right hand can also go underneath the thigh. 
Good, stay here, take three nice, slow, deep breaths. You're on the last one. But inhale, come back all the way. Exhale, hands, heart center. Bring the legs together. You're going to bend the knees like you're planting the feet. Then go ahead and bring those knees wide for Baddha Konasana, Cobbler's Pose, Butterfly Pose. And for this, if it feels really intense and your hips are just like, mm, better not, take the ankles out further in front of you for more of a diamond shape. We're not folding here. We're going to sit up nice, tall spine. You can bring the elbows on top of the thighs. Maybe encourage the knees to open up a little bit more. You can just use your hands and massage out the feet. Show them some love. I did a lot for you today. Every day. Awesome. Inhale again, your nice tall spine. Exhale, let's bring those knees back up together and lower ourselves down onto our backs. So inhale, hug the knees into the chest, make ourselves into a nice tiny ball. And then exhale, open the knees wide, reach to the outsides of the feet. Happy baby. Rock yourself side to side, forward and back. Connect back with your breath here and stay in this present moment. Awesome. Bring yourself back into that nice tiny ball. And exhale. Plant the feet in front of the glutes. Let's bring our arms out to the T and finish off with a little bit of twisting. So inhale here. Exhale, drop the knees over towards the right side. We're going to gaze to the left fingertips. With the right knees, you can keep them stacked. Maybe you splay them open. Maybe you extend that top left leg towards the right hand. Up to you, stay for three. Last breath. Nice, if the top leg's extended, go ahead and stack it. If it's slayed, step. Then use the inhale, bring the legs back to center, gaze up. Exhale, switch around to the left. Bring the gaze towards the right. And take the leg variation you so choose. Last full breath. Awesome. Very slowly return the legs to stacked. Inhale, gaze up, knees up. Exhale, tiny ball again. This time, lift the shoulders up off the mat, bring the forehead towards the knees. Let's create tension in the body, engage every muscle group you can, toes, fingers, face, make it tight. Exhale, release, extend it long. Take up as much space as you like with your legs, with your arms. If you want more of a supported Shavasana, so you actually plant the feet in front of the glutes, take them to the width of your mat, and then let your knees drop together. When your body's nice and comfortable and you feel the tension melt away because you're supported by the earth, let the tension and the breath melt away as well. Release everything here. And settle into your Shavasana.
And as you begin to return from your meditative state and bring awareness back into your body, back into the space, with gentle movements, fingers, toes. As slowly as you like, hug yourself into a nice tiny little ball and roll onto your right side. Take this time here to honor yourself and your practice today, as well as all the transformation that has occurred within your mind, within your body, and within your soul. As slowly as you like, you can make your way up into a comfortable seated position, trying to keep the eyes fluttered closed and to heart center. Ending today's practice with an OM, if you so wish. We'll all inhale together. Thank you all so much for sharing your time, your space, your energy with me today. And that's today's class. As always, I'm grateful for those that attend live and those that check this out later. If you have any comments, feedbacks, quite feedbacks, feedback, questions about the class, please feel free, comment below. You can privately message me on here, on Facebook, on Instagram. It's all let's see Corey Yoga. But yes, that was today's class. I hope you have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, whenever you're taking this. And I look forward to moving and grooving with you again in the future. Enjoy the rest of your day, evening, night, lunch, brunch, 11 C's, and I'll see you around soon. Bye-bye.